All right, let's take a look at a practical example of how an Arcus moves and captures in a game. So we're a little ways into this game. We'll take a look at these two Arcus on the gray team. So for movement, an Arcus jumps along lanes over a single piece in any direction and lands in any open space between the jump piece and the next piece. This Arcus here could jump a single piece and land there. It could also jump this piece and land here or land there. For movement in this direction, it can jump a single piece here and land in that open space, or it could jump and land here. It's, they can land at any space between the jump piece and the next piece. It could also move laterally. It could jump this piece and land there. And then it could also move down this lane here. It could jump a single piece, land in any open space between the jump piece and the next piece. So it could jump and land in any of those spots. That's movement for that Arcus. For this Arcus here, it could jump a single piece and land in this space here. It cannot jump two pieces, so you cannot jump over these and land here. You're only jumping over a single piece. In this direction, this Arcus could jump here and land in this space and land in any open space between the jump piece and the next piece. So it could do that move. In this direction here, it cannot go because Arcus cannot jump each other. There is nowhere to land anyways, but this Arcus cannot jump another Arcus. Let's go now to capturing, and we'll do this gray Arcus first. Arcus capture by jumping along lanes over a single piece in any direction and capturing the next opposing piece after that. Arcus, however, cannot capture each other, so this move cannot be made. They cannot capture each other. This Arcus could move in this direction. It could jump over a single piece, capture the first opposing piece in its path, which is that black column, so it could do that. And then there's really nothing left for this piece to capture. For this gray Arcus here, it can't go in this direction because it cannot jump another Arcus, so it could not jump and capture that gray column. That cannot happen, so that's a bit stuck there. It could go down this way, though, and jump a single piece and then capture the first opposing piece in its path, which is the white column there. And that is a practical, real-life game example of how the Arcus moves and captures.